Now I know it seems like I've been on this kick of tying really old patterns, some semi-forgotten flies here lately, but these flies still catch fish. So I've got one more for you today. I think you're gonna like it. Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Matt, thanks for stopping by. So I was flipping through David Klausmeier's favorite flies and I found a pretty cool pattern in here and I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna tie this one for the channel and it's called the Winter Brown. So I tied it by, based on Klausmeier's recipe in here and the picture in here and I'm thinking the whole time I'm tying it, this looks kind of like a, an old North Country spider, but it's got more of a nymph type body. So as I'm tying it, I'm thinking this is just a, a nymph with a, a little bit of a North Country flavor to it. But then I did a little bit of research and found out the pattern was first uh, mentioned in Edmonds and Lee's 1916 Brook and River Trouting. So when I found a copy of this book and started looking through it, it is indeed a North Country spider. That's pretty much what this whole book is about. And it's uh, one of these old books that, you know, doesn't have any fancy pictures on the cover. And the recipes inside it look like this. You're really just almost guessing what the fly looks like as you tie it. So you'll hear me talk about this video in just a second when I say, hey, it looks almost like a North Country spider. Well, that's because it really is one. And one unique thing about this guy, it uses woodcock, it has woodcock for the wings. So this is definitely an old pattern if they're using this. Now I know a lot of folks probably don't have woodcock. Just use any other kind of upland game bird, maybe a, a partridge or a grouse. You could even use a hen if you find one with small enough and sparse enough fibers. So it's a pretty cool pattern and not at all hard to tie. Let's give it a shot. So there it is in the vise, another really old pattern. This one, the winter brown from 1916. Now sizes for this guy are 14 to 16. I'm gonna go with a 14. It's a barbless standard length wet fly hook. Now for the thread, you're gonna wanna use a yellow or an orange because it's part of the, the butt end. So I'll just lay this back here. It's going down pretty translucent. This is a 70 denier, so it's pretty flat thread. But what I'll do here, I'll just build it up on top of itself to create my, my back end color right here. You have several layers of this yellow. Okay, that's gonna be fine right there. Now leave your thread, oh, I'd say about the point of the hook, just wherever you want the back of your body to be. It's not a, a real long body and it's not a real thick body. It's a little bit thicker than most North Country spiders, but it's, it's still not real thick. And I'm gonna use this wool. This is for my roving roll. I'm gonna take a little bit of the orange and a little bit of the brown and just kind of mix it together. And I'm not blending it really, I'm just mixing it with my fingers. If I don't get it mixed perfectly, that's gonna be fine. It might just give me a little bit of a, a mottled body. And I think that would probably look just a little bit better anyway. So noodle, maybe three inches long, maybe a little bit less. And we'll put it on kind of tight, but not real tight. If it ends up being too tight of a body, we can pick some of this out because you want it to be kind of a fuzzy body. Okay, I think that's fine right there. And I'm not even gonna worry about picking any of that out. In fact, I might want to just trim a little bit of this off the back. So I want it fuzzy, but maybe not terribly fuzzy. Okay, next component is our hackle, and it's this woodcock. So this is a pretty neat bird. Kind of neat feather, this is natural, so it's a little bit brown, a little bit tan, and it's definitely a soft hackle. So what I'll do here, create a little catch, catch in point like that. And if you don't have wood duck um, or woodcock, just use a partridge, use a grouse, some of the other kind of game bird uh, that's gonna be a real soft hackle. So I'm gonna catch that in three wraps. I'm gonna fold it back over and do one more. And then I'll snip this tip off. Now I am gonna need my hackle pliers on this because this feather is about an inch long. And I'm gonna do two wraps, maybe three. We'll take a look at it and see what it looks like after two. 
see if it's going to give us enough uh, fibers. That one slipped out. Let's try that again. So that's two. Is that going to be enough? Probably would have been, but I'm getting a little bit greedy. I'm doing three. Let's catch it off and see how it looks. You can always go back and pluck some of these fibers out or just trim them. But we'll see what three did for us. Yeah, it's a little bit fuzzy, but I think we're gonna get away with this. So I'm gonna just take this back right here. I don't really want them swept back, but this is not gonna sweep them back too much. They should still be sticking out. Here we go. I think we're gonna be fine right there. Now the last thing we're gonna do is peacock curl for the head. And how I would do this, I'm just gonna catch it in a couple inches back from the brittle end. And let's see, I don't wanna trap any more of these, this woodcock. Try not to anyway. So I think that's three wraps with the peacock curl. Should I cut that or break it? Nah, I'm gonna break it. And it worked, didn't leave too much fuzz right there. So just two or three wraps of this gives you a little bit of a dark and a little bit of that metallic peacock curl for the head. Okay, I think that's enough. I'm gonna put two wraps of this. Now I'm holding my thread pretty tight and break it off. Can I still get in the eye? Oh yeah. As long as I can get a whip finish right behind the eye without crowding it, I'm in good shape. So let's do a whip finish and then see what we got. And I'm doing a, a four turn right there and a little confession. I'm not gonna put head cement on this thing just because there's not really a whole lot of room for head cement and I would more than likely mess up that head and get it all over my peacock girl. So it'll hold, and if it doesn't hold, it was a pretty cheap and easy fly to tie. Just, you know, grab you another one. So that's it. Really cool little easy pattern called the Winter Brown. I appreciate you watching. Y'all take care, and we'll see you next time.